afternoon. Here is the national news from our studio VGI TV. First are the major headlines for the news. Tension in Abuja over a lot of terrorist attack. Soldiers mount roadblock. Panic in Ondo as soldiers withdrew from checkpoints. Ikoyi building collapse. Death toll rises to 26. Enugu NSCDC deploys 350 personnel, 15 vehicles for Anambra Pole. ICPC DSS arrests 48 lecturers, security officers over JPEB leakage. Bandits rape 2 attack orders in Quara. Now in details. The capital city of Abuja is on eye alert over a report of an impending terrorist attack. According to reports, soldiers have since been placed on alert and have been deployed to strategic locations to mount security checkpoints, monitor, prevent and arrest potential attackers. It was gathered that security measures have been beefed up all over the city. The Nigerian military obtained security report that attackers were planning to enter FCT through the Abuja Kefi Expressway and other entry points. The soldiers have mounted roadblocks at all entry and exit points into the FCT and conducted stop and search operations on specific vehicles and passengers. The roadblocks have been since caused difficulty in the movement of motorists, especially those who live along the Abuja Kefi Expressway in areas like Kuba, Karu, Jokui, Orozo, among others. The soldiers from the 33 Artillery Brigade were said to have returned to the barracks. The reason for their action is yet to be ascertained as of the press time. The absence of the soldiers was noticed across the interstate boundaries as well as at checkpoints along Ago Ajayi, Owa Kere Junction, Owena, Ajui Ibaraoke, and Usowo. No official confirmation has been issued in this regard as a bridge is yet to react to the development. However, residents as well as motorists have begun to express fear over the sudden disappearance of the soldiers from the checkpoints. Residents say the peace in the states might be thwarted and criminal activities on the highway may resume if bandits and gunmen learn that security operatives are no longer on the highway. The death toll in the 21-story building that collapsed on Monday on Gerard Road in the Ikoyi area of Lagos State has increased to 36. The building crumbled around 2 p.m. when workers were on the site working. Recall many people were trapped in the rubble, including the managing director Femi Oshibono, who owned the building. The Southwest Coordinator of the National Emergency Management Agency, Ibrahim Farin Louye, confirmed today that 33 males and 3 females have been brought out dead from the rubble. Femiloye added that nine people, which included one female and eight males, were rescued alive. The Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, NSCDC, Enugu State Command, says it is deploying no fewer than 350 personnel for the forthcoming Anambra governorship election. The news agency of Nigeria reports that the Anambra gubernatorial poll will hold on Saturday, November 6, under the INEC supervision with security personnel. The Public Relations Officer of the Command Chief Superintendent of the Corps, CSC, Dan Emanuel, disclosed these today in Enugu. The security operatives are to provide security and to ensure a peaceful poll in Anambra governorship election. The Commandant had given the command contingent all logistics and moral support to ensure a each free election duty and for them to do the command proud in Anambra. The Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission and the Department of State Services have arrested 48 individuals for their alleged illegalities and the conduct of the Joint University Preliminary Examination Board, JPEB. JPEB is an advanced level educational examination that qualifies its candidates for admission into 200 level in any Nigerian and foreign universities through direct entry. The spokesperson for ICPC, Mrs. Azuka Ogugwa, in a statement in Abuja said the suspects were arrested from Wellspring University, Benin, Edo State, Christopher University, Moe, Ogun State, and Crown Hill University, Ilorin Kwara State, the news agency of Nigeria reports. 
She said the Joint Operation Tag Operation Combo conducted in collaboration with the Ministry of Education led to the arrest of the lecturers, security officers, workers and students from some of the participating universities in the examination. The Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps and the CDC has confirmed the unknown gunmen have attacked Mokul village in Kaiba local government area of Kwara. This is contained in a statement signed by the spokesman of Kwara Command of the Corps, Mr. Babawale Afolabi, and made available to the newsmen in Ilori today. Afolabi said that the gunmen abducted two minors of the same family and injured the head of the family and one other person with matches. He said that the abducted girls were later released after the abductors had canal knowledge of them. Before we call it to wrap on the national news for this hour, let's have a quick take of the headlines once again. Tension in Abuja over a lot of terrorist attack soldiers mount roadblock. Panic in Ondo as soldiers withdraw from checkpoints. A Koyi building collapse, death toll rises to 36. Enugu NSCDC deploys 350 personnel, 15 vehicles for Anambra Pole. ICPC DSS arrest 48 lecturers, security officers over Jupiter leakage. Bandits rape two attack orders in Quara. Thank you for watching. We want to appreciate you for always being there. And our three social basic media handle are on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. On YouTube, Baba Bagede Imo TV. Kindly subscribe and click onto the notification bell, which drops you updates concerning our broadcast. And on Facebook, Bagede Imo with Alawiye Adebayo. Please like the page and follow the page to be part of the member of the family. And on Instagram, Bagede Imo underscore 22. For other placement of your goods and services and coverage of occasions or every other happiness which you want our live team to be there, call 0703822 I am yours faithfully, Rebila Lawal.